Well, I figured New Year. Um, figured I'd bring the chickens. Come on, chickens, come here. Come here, girls, come on. Come on, chickens. Anyways, everybody. No, my hair's a mess. But, uh, let's do a new slogan. Um, Wade Farms, like, hairspray or something. Oh, come on, chickens, come here. I gotta, like, kind of, like, drag all of ya. Say Happy New Year to all your fellow chicken friends. Yeah? Can you say Happy New Year's? All of us? Huh? You guys can say Happy New Year to uh, Sarah and Sally? Huh? Are you going to? I see you back there. They think I'm going to give them something. I, I see you back there. A little pipsqueak. And spot. Um. But, uh, yeah, I figured I'd uh, come out here and say Happy New Year, Sarah and Sally. Um. Happy New Year, chickens. Stayed up until, like, 1.30. Watched the... Uh, ball drop, but it wasn't. It, uh, it was like playing. I was playing Minecraft at the same time, and I had it on my up on my second monitor. By the way, thank you, Zach, for getting me that. Um, had it on my second monitor, and um, playing Minecraft at the same time. You know, I'm going through the Nether or whatever. Um, and <laughs> the ball had already dropped. I was like. Huh, I don't I don't see it anywhere and I rewind it and have to watch it back again. So New Year's happened to me at about twelve fifteen to twelve twenty last night. But um I just wanted to say that the um I'm gonna have a list. So it'll, it'll be put up on the screen. Um the the big one for me is the Dodge Challenger. Um Dodge Challenger, the, the, and it's, it's not, the Dodge Challenger is getting discontinued, they're getting a new model, but the engine in them is getting discon discontinued, the 6.2 liter supercharged Hellcat engine, um, it's getting discontinued and everything, and for the 2023 year, they're all electric, which, I mean, that, that depends on if you'd want it to be electric, but, um, I guess new year, new technology. I don't, I think the electric's stupid. I mean, just to, you know, make the batteries, to mine the lithium, to get the batteries. And it just seems like it's probably hurts our environment more. But I'm not an expert, so I couldn't tell you. I have, I have no idea. But, um, yeah, anyways, happy new year. What are you, what? Why are you sitting here? You're still sitting here, Owl. Oops, I can't zoom in. You're still sitting here. What's wrong with you? Go, look, look at all of them. Look at, yeah, Rooster. Rooster, I see you behind that tree. <coughs> what? Seriously, why do you keep looking at me? How close can I get to you before you move? Two steps. Okay. I will leave you alone now. Anyways, chickens are, um... Yeah, they're, you're in the woods. You're in the woods, all of us. I see you right there. Yes, I do. But, um... Yeah. Anyways, um... So, for everything for Dodge, their cars are, um... Getting to be electric now. Um... I'm not sure if any... I think Nissan's car is getting discontinued. The GTR, um, the Chevy Corvette, and the Chevy Camaro. Um, God, I, I don't know anything else. I know there's probably a lot. I know there's the tractors are, you know, starting to go electric. They've probably been you can get electric or engine for that for the last couple of years. I know. I think Polaris has their new electric ranger, which, I don't know. Maybe electric would be nice for a side-by-side -side like that. I mean, if you think about it, like, Dad's F-150 power boost, you, you go and there's, like, hummings for, you know, 
reasons and or like the safety reasons or whatever. And then um it has like a backup beeper, which is like super annoying. Um and I wonder if that side by side, I hope something like that wouldn't have any buzzing or anything. I wish it could just be the tires just you know, you hear the tires and the you know, anything else that would be moving around from the battery, but I wonder how much range one of those would have, because I know electric car is like a regular, let's take, we'll just use that for the Ford, because I like Fords. The F-150 versus the F-150 Lightning. The Lightning can go like 230 miles, because when I researched this, because I didn't know what my dad was going to buy, I was like, hey, you see the electric truck? He's like, ah, I don't know, it's interesting, blah, blah, blah. We were, we were looking, he's like... Why would I get that when I can go two times? I can go like 450, almost close to 500 sometimes, miles, instead of 235 on electric. Told him, yeah, good point, whatever. He bought his truck, whatever. But I feel like with the Polaris, like, wouldn't your range get cut down a lot? So, like, how far could you actually drive on a charge on the Polaris Ranger. I guess um I guess I could look it up real quick. Hey Siri. How far can the new 2023 Polaris Ranger electric go for its range? I found this on the web. Found this on the web. Wait. It says the here, let's just click onto it. Oh. oh, electric Polaris is here. You can save the golf cart jokes for another of the game because the new electric 2023 Polaris Ranger. Um, capacity of a thousand pounds. <coughs> capacity of a thousand pounds. Oh, EV range of 35 miles right there. 35 miles for the Polaris Rangers. So, and it could regularly go, well, let me look at this. Hey Siri, how far will the Polaris Ranger 1000 XP go on for range? Here's what I found. The 110 in the, um, I don't know if I want suit camo. Okay, it has 82 horsepower. I'm not seeing any. Oops, sorry, I'm not seeing anything. So let's just assume it could go 100 miles over 35. I mean, the amount I drive our new Pioneer, the new 2023 um, on the Pioneer 1006, I don't Electric could be good for us, but I don't think you can get a four-door in one of those Ranger electrics yet because then it would only probably go 15 miles. And 15 miles is not good. Thir 35, I mean, it definitely wouldn't work for when we wanted to go to um, Sandpoint and, uh, you, know, you know, Sandpoint over there or Sand Hill. Definitely wouldn't work over there. Cause now, I think our new one can only do... 65 or 85 or something it's because i know our old pioneer used to do like 125 it would go but it's it was smaller now you have a six seater and it's it's going to be a lot a lot bigger and it's going to take a lot more fuel and you know but anyways that's for the electric stuff i don't know i don't know how i got there to be that but um Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Um, I'd say sunny and 75 in Michigan, but it's cloudy and 45, which is nice because it's in the middle of December. I don't know if it's nice or not nice, but at least there's snow on the ground for Christmas, so I don't care. I, I don't know why. I was always like that. I was like, give me snow a month before Christmas up to Christmas, and then after Christmas it can be spring weather or summer weather. I, I couldn't really care. I can smell spring. Spring has its own smell. I can smell it right now, so I don't know. But it's supposed to get up to, like, 55 tomorrow, and then the rest of the week is supposed to be, like, 
too. So, I don't know. I guess enjoy this weather while it lasts. But, um, anyways, that's probably about all I got. So, hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you guys like, subscribe with the bell for post notifications. Let's catch you guys next time on Wade Farms. Alright, um, Editor Jason here. Um, well, I'm just, just editor. I'm just, uh, Editor Wyatt, or... Editor, uh, Wade Farm, the Wade Farms editor, um, just realized I didn't tell you guys the 2023 plan. I, because I will look right now exactly, I think it's 214 videos that I have. Let me get to YouTube real quick. Yeah, no, 217. As you guys can see, 217 videos, 156 subscribers my goals by the end of 2023 would be to get to 500 videos because i'm at 217 so 500 videos and <clears throat> i know a thousand's a lot but i would like to get to at least 500 subscribers so if you guys could please share the video make sure everybody likes recommend it to new people um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you you are subscribed. But, uh, yeah, I guess editor, the Wade Farms editor is out.